building sales lag behind electronics this holiday season. Sales were the best this year in merchandise for the home, in computers, software, and jewelry. But very few people this holiday season bought clothes as a result. Shoppers can expect bigger sales in the upcoming weeks as stores try to, to clear their shelves for spring merchandise. Most folks think of the homeless as people sleeping in doorways. The fact of the matter is that people in Medina are now sleeping in their cars, camping in tents, and pacing the aisles of 24-hour stores to keep warm. Area churches are now hosting their homeless. Board members have tentatively named the program Operation Homes, which stands for Hospitality of Medina Emergency Shelters. The guests, as they are called, will be taken from church to church each week and likely to spend daytime hours at the Salvation Army where job training and telephones would be available. The new and safer Wealthy Road in Richfield is now open to motorists. The highway runs between Interstate 77 and River Road it costs over $1 million to straighten out the once very winding road that went through the Cuyahoga Valley National Recreational Park. Disputing mayors are having words over casino gambling. Cleveland's Mayor White has hired lawyers to see over Cleveland's interest in the anticipated legalizing of casino gambling. Lorraine's Mayor Alex Oleko is accused White of being a hypocrite. Oleko says he brought the subject up to the mayor five years ago and was told it's not good for Cleveland. End of subject. A spokesperson for Mayor White says the mayor has not changed his mind, but if casinos come to Ohio, Cleveland should be ready. Cleveland's Bicentennial will begin this Saturday night. 52 years before the actual event, Bicentennial Director David Abbott says he wants the people of Cleveland to become accustomed to a celebration in public square to prepare them for grander things to come. The birthday party will feature fireworks, bell ringing, singing angels, jugglers, costume characters, and a dropping ball at midnight. A much bigger 200-year-old party will happen at the next New Year's Eve gathering. Coming up in sports, we'll take a look at Brown's playoff situation, how the price is right for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Welcome back. So, Randy, what do you think about the Cleveland Cavaliers? Well, Roger, you judge for yourself, because the Cavs have made it nine in a row. Can you believe that? A red heart, Mike Price, and the rest of the Cavs scorched the Boston Celtics yesterday, 123-102 to at the Gund Arena. Price connected for a club record seven three-pointers to lead the Cavs to victory. Price ended the game with a season-high 36 points. The leading scorer for the Celtics was point guard Sherman Douglas, who pumped in 19 points. The Cavs put their nine-game winning streak on the line tomorrow at, as Juan Howard and the rest of the injury-ridden Washington Bulls came to come to Reno for a 7.30 showdown. Recapping yesterday's game, Houston beat Miami, Orlando defeated Washington in overtime. Minnesota cooked the Clippers, Milwaukee barely slipped by the Nets, and the Sun crushed the, Ma the Mavericks. Now going into the football, Week 17 and NFL football has a full head of steam. Cleveland's 34-5-9 victory over Seattle Sunday brings the Brownies' first playoff game home to the stadium. The Browns will host 10-6 uh, Patriots. New England won 7 in a row after their 13-6 to Cleveland in early November. The Browns hope to upset New England's dream of being this year's sleepers team. Kickoff is 12-30 this Sunday at the stadium. Uh, AFC Central, the Vikings have, cl have clinched the NFC Central Division crown. Minnesota won the second straight division championship after defeating the 49ers 21-14 last night. With four out of five teams, the NFC Central dominates the playoffs. The Cleveland Lumberjacks lose to the Kalamazoo Wings. Final score, the Wings 5, Jacks 4. It was the third time in four meetings that the game resulted in a shutout. In the game, left winger... Brad Lauber, who rejoined the Lumberjacks after missing several weeks with a separated shoulder, scored his first since 19, since in October the 23rd. And of course, here's the postseason lineup. Minnesota will host the 9-7 Bears on Sunday. Green Bay will host the 9-7 Lions on Saturday. And again, the Browns will host the Pats Patriots on Sunday. 
San Francisco, Pittsburgh, San Diego, and Dallas all have first round buys. Thanks, Randy. Coming up, Kwanzaa and the African American celebration, and speaking about celebrations, how to shape up in the new year after all those holiday meals. These stories and more on Channel 7 News.